while color is an element, na natural element that surrounds us, uh, many of these colors are invisible, and I think they have a huge effect in the way we behave. But it's still a mystery why color exists and why it affects us so much. So that's one of the reasons why I'm so interested in color, because there's a mystery behind it. Um, what were the difficulties you encountered in our society without sensing color? Well, color is a very social element. It's used in society every day. And if you don't see it, you feel uh, socially isolated. I didn't feel disabled. I felt socially um, separated from most people. So I didn't want to change my side. I wanted to have this social element in my life, which is why I didn't change my side. I still see in grayscale, which has many advantages of better night vision. There's many species that see in grayscale, and the advantage is, is that you have better night vision. You can see longer distance. You can uh, identify shapes more easily. So there's many things that I didn't want to change. So there's advantages um, and disadvantages, I guess, of uh, not seeing color. The disadvantage is a social one. It's, so I have an antenna implanted in my head that allows me to receive the, to receive the vibrations of color directly into my skull. So each color has a light frequency. This light frequency goes in, in the head and then I feel it. So by feeling the different vibrations of color, I can identify them all and beyond the visual. So it can include infrareds and ultraviolets. There's also internet connection, so I can receive colors that do not come from the antenna, but from other devices, so like the mobile phones or other sensors, basically. Well, this is not artificial intelligence. If uh, it was artificial intelligence, it would be telling me the names of colors, but it's not. It's giving me the sense of colors, giving me vibrations, that, and then my brain needs to decide if it's uh, red or orange. So this is not AI, this is AS. It's not artificial intelligence, it's an artificial sense, and it's different. When you merge with an artificial sense, the intelligence is created by the brain, not by the machine. So I wanted color perception to be created by the brain, not by a machine. I think we'll start seeing the internet used as a sense uh, in the next years, also as a, as a sensory extension. So when you can connect to external sensors and these sensors become senses through the internet, that's uh, gonna be a huge change. When we have uh, like sensors that are permanently connected to the internet, means that uh, we'll have sensors that can actually be in other continents or we can even send our senses to space and explore space without having to physically go there. So this is like becoming sensetronauts, where you can send senses to space, explore space without having to physically go there. So I think we'll start seeing more and more of the use of the internet, not only as a tool or a communication system, but also as a sense or a sensory extension. Well, the biggest struggle is social reaction for me. This is the biggest struggle that I've faced. Uh, I identify myself as a trans species because I've added senses and organs that are not traditionally human and uh, my uh, new organ is visible, so it creates so social reaction that sometimes is very intense. Uh, I have all types of reactions, positive and negative, even very negative, people who think that this is a threat to our society and to uh, our humanity, basically. They think this is against humans, when it's, uh, it's not, it's actually allowing me to connect to nature and to other species in a much deeper way, so it's sometimes difficult for people to see that this is not a threat, this is something good. We can, if we design ourselves, we won't have to design the planet so much because we'll have senses that allow, will allow us to do things that now we need machines to do, or um, set, uh, like artificial light, for example, that if we had night vision, cities would be dark and we wouldn't be using uh, so much energy, so it would be much better for the planet. So I think slowly society will see it as ethical, but still now it's not, uh, it's not like this.